today we have been privileged to conduct our third free and fair election to form the student government in this institution. The students are electing the president and the deputy president. They are also electing the two senators, senator for lower primary and senator for upper primary. And they are also electing governors who are manning their classes. They are also electing cabinet ministers, that is minister for environment and natural resources. They are also electing minister for culture and sports. They are also electing uh, the senators which represent the lower and the upper in the student cabinet. We normally conduct the student cabinets thrice in a term where we meet all the cabinet and the president chairs uh, the cabinet meeting where all the ministers and the repre representatives of classes are present. The student government has been very useful for the last three years in this school in terms of the students' performance. And the learners enjoy when they are being led by the people whom they elect themselves, not appointed by the teachers. And they have given them a lot of respect. And this one is giving teachers easy time to manage the student because if there is a problem, they meet in their council and then they discuss the matter is brought to administration. Then the matter is being implement, implemented in the school to enable the learning to continue without any problem. Uh, this culture train the young people to be free and fair from corruption. Government should implement uh, this one to, to be part of our curriculum that we do uh, in our classes so that the learners should come from school when they have integrity to fight corruption in the country so that wherever they will be in future, they will be able to know that elections are always free and fair. And we also, as Nyangubo, we have started the Integrity Club. The Integrity Club teach our learners to fight against corruption so that they can develop this culture right in them so that when they grow up, they become mature citizens who cannot be engaged in matters of corruption wherever they will be employed or whenever they will be working.